On behalf of His Highness, Sheikh Majid bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, welcome to the 2015 Dubai Fitness Championship. The championship's now in its fourth year, and His Highness's vision of creating a world-class fitness event in Dubai that encourages and inspires the local community to get into fitness and sports certainly seems to be realised. The number of quality of world-class athletes from overseas competing, plus the phenomenal improvements in the local athlete over the last few years, means that this version of the championship is going to probably be the toughest yet. The championship's going to be held over two long weekends, with the first weekend being held at Al Wassel Sports Club and the second weekend at Dubai Mall Ice Rink. So good luck to all those competing and enjoy this short video explaining the workouts and the movement standards. The Dubai Fitness Championship 2015 qualifying workout consists of two workouts with five minutes rest in between. The first workout is as many rounds and repetitions as possible in four minutes of 16 barbell thrusters and 32 toes to bar. Men will use a 60 kilogram bar and women 40 kilos. Once the four minutes is up, athletes will have five minutes rest before attempting workout two. The second workout is as many rounds and repetitions as possible in six minutes of 12 deck squats and 60 double unders. Barbell thrusters with the athlete fully locked out overhead with the arms, hips and legs fully extended and the barbell over the centre of the athlete's body when viewed from profile. Every repetition of the thruster must have the athlete pass below parallel where the hip crease is clearly below the top of the knee. When taking the barbell from the floor, the first repetition may be done in a squat clean fashion. Toes to bar. A repetition is counted when both feet touch the pull-up bar at the same time between the hands. Every repetition of toes to bar starts with the athlete hanging at full extension and the heels behind the vertical plane of the pull-up bar. If the feet do not make contact with the bar at the same time, this is a no rep. Deck squat. The deck squat starts with the athlete lying on their back and ends with them at full standing where ankles, hips and shoulders are in one straight vertical line. For the rep to count, when standing, the kettlebell must touch the underside of the chin. When on the ground, the top of the kettlebell handle must make contact with the ground. Feet must be parallel and uncrossed when attempting to stand for the rep to count. If the kettlebell does not make contact with the chin, and or doesn't connect with the ground, then a no rep will be called. Double unders. For every repetition of the double under, the rope must pass under the athlete's body twice. Single unders are not permitted.